Good morning. The big difference today is going to be the winds picking back up again across the state. We're going to still see plenty of sunshine, though, and temperatures will be a little better. We're going to be in the low 40s as we head toward the 9 o'clock hour, mid 50s by lunchtime, and then temperatures today climbing into the upper 60s to near 70 degrees to so feeling very spring like out there. And of course, we're going to have the spring winds to go along with the warmer temperatures. Skies mostly clear right now. We will see mostly sunny skies across the state, though. There is a weak disturbance moving through Arizona right now that will bring in more clouds up in the four corners, and it could also bring the chance for some rain mixing in with some snow in southwestern Colorado late today and through the overnight hours, but it's going to be very spotty at best. Red flag warnings are in place with those winds going up across the east and the southern part of the state, and you can expect the winds to stick around through at least the first half of the weekend. Temperatures this morning, again, chilly, but not as bad as yesterday. We're in the low to mid-20s up in the northern mountains, low 40s for Santa Fe and Albuquerque, and we're starting off in the mid to upper 40s down in the south. Libya tops our updated morning news blitz. NATO ships are patrolling off Libya's coast as U.S.-led coalition forces carry out airstrikes over Tripoli. Explosions could be heard this morning in the capital. NATO forces say an improvised explosive device has killed two of its service members in southern Afghanistan. There's no word on the nationalities of the dead. Calmer winds and rain have raised optimism about a nearly two-square-mile wildfire in the foothills west of Denver. The fire burning in Golden is about 25% contained. Winter is a couple of days late checking out in the northeast and parts of the nation's midsection. A far-reaching storm has brought up to a foot of snow to areas from the Dakotas to upstate New York. The suspect in the January shooting rampage in Tucson has been transferred to a facility in Missouri to undergo a court-ordered mental evaluation. Jared Lopner is undergoing the test to determine if he understands the charges he faces. And tribute to the late Elizabeth Taylor are pouring in. Former First Lady Nancy Reagan says Taylor was passionate and compassionate about everything, especially about the victims of AIDS. Taylor died yesterday at the age of 79. And those stories make up the news blitz.